Hello. This video will be a demonstration on a web application called whiteboard.fly. It is a useful and easy resource to use in your classroom for whole group instruction. To get started, first go to whiteboard.fly and register, which is straightforward. Simply enter in your first and last name as well as your email. Once you have created your account and are logged in, we can get started. For now we will go with the limited but free version of whiteboard.fi. Click on Create a New Class. Let's get your students connected to your whiteboard classroom. You have two options. First, if your student's device has a camera, an easy way to go about it is to display the QR code. Your second option is to use the link. Either display it for your students to see, or post the link in your Google Classroom or similar program. Your student will be prompted to enter their name and then join. Now that we have connected your students, your lesson can begin. On the toolbar, we have some very basic tools, such as the Select Tool, Draw Tool, and the Draw Tools. Also three different shape tools, the Rectangle, Circle, and Polygon Tool. Followed by the Text Tool, Insert Image Tool, as well as the PDF Tool, Cut, Copy and Paste. Then we have undo and redo, zoom in, reset, pan, and zoom out. Followed by the download tool which allows you save your board as an image. After that you have your trash can tool and your order buttons, bring forward and send back. On the second row of the toolbar, we have a color palette and the color settings for the various objects, as well as the eraser tool which allows you to wipe the board or just specific areas.
Then there is the flatten image button which turns the whole board into one image. The grid tool, both small and large comes next, followed by the music sheet tool, emoji, and equations tool. Lastly you have the Library and Assignments button which are available in the Premium version. Whenever you are ready for your students to view what you have put together click on the Push slash Assign button so your students can see your whiteboard. Now if you scroll down, you will see an area to create extra whiteboards in preparation. And even further down you can view your students' whiteboards as well. This has been a brief introduction to Whiteboard.fi. Thank you for watching.